Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Amano, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of Team DG's tech team. So, in today's video I'm going to show you a very important small change in the pattern brake logic of the 737 that um, has just happened with the 600 release and that is also brought to the 700 with the uh, 700 update. So, here we are in the flight deck of the 737-600 and our park and brake is set. Now, in order to release the park and brake on the previous version, you just had to click the lever. And that is how it works in Airbus aircraft, but not in Boeing aircraft. In Boeing aircraft, all that the park and brake is doing is to insert a mechanical lockage for the brake pedals to stay in position. So, the brake pedals are actually what is triggering the um, actual braking of the park and brake. So, don't imagine the park and brake as a separate system, but instead imagine it as the normal braking system, just that the park and brake lever is fixing the um, braking power at the position um, that the pedals have been in when the brake lever has been pulled. Now, of course, the uh, brake pedals themselves have to be pressed to a certain um, deflection before the lever can be pulled, which is pretty much almost full deflection. In order to set and release your parking brake, this means that you have to apply the brake pedals or you can of course also use the um, keyboard or joystick assignment that you may have for the brakes before you can actually apply the parking brake. So what does that mean how we can actually operate the brakes? Right now our parking brake is set. In order to release it we have to press our toe brakes on our um, hardware rudders or press the keyboard or joystick command for your brake release for at least two seconds. If you're using brake pedals it's going to release immediately once you have the brakes pressed all the way down but if you're using a joystick button or the keyboard command then you have to press it for at least two seconds. The reason for that is that when you apply the brakes, Microsoft Flight Simulator is um, building the pressure up slowly, not steadily, uh, slowly and steadily actually, but it doesn't go from 0 to 100 like immediately, but it takes those 2 seconds until the full brake pressure is applied and therefore until the brake is released. The other way around, if the brake is released and you want to set it, you first need to press your brake pedals and then you can press or pull the uh, park and brake lever which is going to fix the brake pedals into position and thereby apply the park and brake. So this is how you operate the park and brake on a Boeing 737 and actually on um, all the other Boeing aircraft that I know about as well. The shape of the park and brake lever can change if you select the um, new style fuel cutoff switches like I am going to show you right now. So like this, the shape of the lever can change, so this is what you are used to from, for example, the 747-8 or the 777, or at least it's very similar to those. However, the logic, how it works, is still the very same. So to release them, press your brake pedals, and once it's off you can release the pedals again, and in order to set the park and brake again, press the pedals in, pull the lever, and then you can let go of your pedals. The same applies as set to the uh, keyboard or joystick assignment. As soon as the um, brake lever is set, you can let go of the command and then your parking brake is going to stay on. And when you press it again, at least for two seconds, then your parking brake is going to release again. I hope you found this one useful. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new logic. And I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one. If you like my tips and tricks, I would love to see you guys subscribe to the channel and maybe consider a small donation through the buy me a coffee button that you can find in the video description below. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward to see you all again soon.